ready for Cleveland, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. You got the memo, huh? Yes, sir. I'm from Miami. Yesterday, yesterday for you? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I thought it'd be colder though. It wasn't bad, honestly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can, you, uh, can you just talk about coming out of that game with 16 tackles and your, your first opportunity to replace <clears throat> Um, you know, um, I mean, it wasn't enough. You know, we still didn't come out with the victory. I still left a lot of plays out there, so I wasn't too satisfied with that. You know, I could have had three more sacks, you know, like completely, like just missed it. So it's stuff to still get better on. You know, it's a, it's a good accomplishment, but not satisfied at all. <laughs> what about um, Emmanuel getting hurt, you know, stunt for the year? I mean, how big a loss is that for the rest of you guys? Uh, that's a big loss. Um, Emmanuel, he's a, he's, a, he's a terrific dude. He's a, he's a great dude in the run in the pass. Pass rush, you know, um, he's a big loss to this defense, you know, but our mentality is next man up. You know, the next guy has to step in and, you know, uh, just give him their best shot. You know, uh, Jamie Collins went down, you know, so just next man up mentality and we just got to keep uh, pushing and, and execute the calls that Greg Williams calls. What's it like to, to know that, you know, that you have to try to replace a, a like, like Jamie? I mean, it doesn't put any stress on me. You know, I can't replace him Collins. He's, like, he's probably one of the most talented dude I've ever seen in my life with my eyes. You know, he's a great dude all around, off the field, on the field. So that's not even in my thought process. You can't replace a dude like that, you know. But all I can do is play as good as James Burgess can play. Tell me about the way you go. You had some knee issues too, and but you seem to have come back, back in that pretty uh Pretty well. Yeah, uh, you know, knee injuries is tough, you know, in this business, you know, knees, there's nothing to play with, you know, it's a very serious injuries, you know, um, it's tough, you know, but this game comes with injuries, a lot of injuries, you know, I just wish everyone the speedy and healthy recovery and hopefully you can be back as soon as possible. James, uh, how, how, how do you feel when you put in all the work and you're still looking for our first minute? Um... I mean, you know, obviously it's disappointing. You know, um, it's very disappointing not coming home with a win, you know. Um, but it just makes the grind even harder when we come back practice the next day on Wednesday. You know, we're just going to come practice harder. We watch film today, put it behind us, we, uh, fix our corrections, you know, and uh, we, we move forward. Do you guys talk a lot about being on Um, I mean, we have our meetings. Like today we have our meetings, you know. we. We have a 24-hour rule after the game. You know, after the game, we have 24 hours to get rid of it. You know, we watch all the film, so now it's behind us. Now we're just focusing on Cincinnati now. Does anybody say anything about it? Well, you guys are just, nobody wants to be winning. Does that ever come up in, in the locker room? I mean, yeah, we, we all we all talk, you know. We try to motivate each other, you know. Kirko, he always break us on win every time we break the huddle. Most times, like nine times, he always saying win or dominate, you know. So we obviously want to win. No one wants to be on 10. No one wants to lose any games, honestly, you know. But it's tough. Like I say, we just put it behind us, 24-hour rule. We come back Wednesday ready to practice. James, I know you said, you know, you personally weren't satisfied with your performance. You felt that there were plays left out there. You've obviously filled in for Jamie earlier this year. But the fact that you, when you were out there, it was clear you were impacting the game. You were having a significant effect out there. Do you at least look at that and say to yourself that not only do I belong on the field, but I can really affect what the opponent is doing? I mean, I would have said that if we would have won. So, I mean, no matter what type of impact it was, it wasn't big enough to win the game, you know. So, I don't really look at it like that. Until we win, I, I won't be satisfied about 100 tackles. So, uh, Josh Gordon can come back in practice. Uh, is there any excitement level uh, about that among the guys in here? Oh, definitely, man. You know, that's, that's a great dude. When he was here, he had crazy numbers, you know. Um, he's going to definitely challenge our DBs and safeties, you know, in coverage and linebackers, you know, on shallow routes and stuff like that, you know. Um, just ready to get him on the field, you know, and get him out there in the dog pound. Have you gotten to meet him at all or talk to him at all since he's come back? Uh, honestly, I haven't. 